Hey there, it's Marianne from Thrive Admin Services. And in this video, I'm actually responding to a question that I received by email from one of my members. And it was about working with Teams and being able to create a Teams meeting and have the settings work so that someone else can jump in and start that meeting without you being present. So in this instance, it was that they were setting up a series of board meetings and it was their job to set up the meetings as Teams online meetings but they didn't need to actually be in the meeting specifically. So they needed someone else to be able to start it, host it, run it, um, and then close it out when they were finished. So I did some Googling and I found lots of different answers that weren't quite giving me the result that I needed. So I couldn't go back to my member with that. So what I did was I contacted Microsoft support who are amazing and they've provided me with these steps. And I thought the next best thing to do was to share that with you so that you have access to it as well. So this is how we change our settings at the admin center. So we're going to be working in the Teams admin center to create those settings and then we'll create a meeting and test it all out. So let's get started. Okay, so we're doing this all based in the web. So we're actually going to need to head to our Teams admin center. And to do that, we head to office.com and it'll log you in as yourself. And then from the app launcher, you're going to select the admin option or it'll be down here in all apps um, alphabetically. So this is your main Microsoft admin center for all of your different services. So if we click show all, we've got all of these different admin centers down here and we're going to go to the Teams admin center. Now, I'm following the instructions that were given to me by Microsoft. So we're doing this in real time. So fingers crossed that this works. So from here, it's telling me that I now go to meetings and meeting policies. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add a policy. So this is where you can control the features that are available to people joining your meetings um, and also the meeting join and lobby experience. So there are some global settings, but it's telling me here to create a new policy and we need to give it a name and description. So we're going to call this um, and a description, allow other users to join and host meetings. I don't need to attend once booked. Okay. And then it says down here, it's got meeting, join and lobby. And it says turn on anonymous users can join a meeting. And anonymous users and dial-in call users can start a meeting and make sure who can bypass the lobby is set to everyone. Okay. So rather than it being simply people in my organization or guests, we want it to be for everybody. So regardless of whether they are part of our domain or whether they've been invited. So everyone. Uh, and then we save. Excellent. So it will now be here. And now we want to assign this to the users. So we need to assign this policy to someone. So okay. go to admin center users. Here we go. And I'm going to look for man. This one, and we want to look at policies. Manage product licenses refresh. Okay, so that all looks okay to me. Devices, licenses, and apps, mail. And OneDrive. Okay. Okay. 
right, so this is the user, this is me, and I now need to assign this policy. So let's, how do I assign this to me? Here we go, right, and policies. And we want to assign a policy. So it's not there, so we need to edit this. And in meeting policy, we'll add um, I think it'll be meeting policy. We'll add this one and apply it. Like that. For the selected users saved. So if I now go back to Teams and Teams policies, sorry, me, uh, meeting and meeting policies, this one. So this is all correct. You can register, this is all correct, this is all correct, this is all correct. Okay, so we've got six default policies and one custom policy. That's my custom policy and I am the user. So we've had to create the policy and then we've had to assign it to a user. Um, and we did that by taking off that particular filter and then editing the policies assigned so that, and this is a little bit techy, I do understand, but we've, we've made it so that it's using this direct one now. So what we'll do is we will test that in the next section of the video. Okay, so now that our settings in Teams in the Admin Center have been set up correctly, we're going to go into Teams on my desktop and I'm going to create a meeting and I'm going to invite someone else in and see if they can start the meeting. So I'm going to actually just pop it in for here now. So I'm going to go New Meeting and we're going to call it Test Join. Um, I'm not going to have any required attend. Um, yeah, I'm not going to have any required attendees because I'll show you how I'll do that. And we'll set it for uh, 9 a.m. to 9.30 and save. So it's been set up as an online meeting. What I'm going to do here to be a little bit clever, I'm going to copy the link to join. So that's that standard link. And then I'm actually going to open in my web browser, I'm going to open an incognito window so that none of my logins so it's not recognizing me as an individual and I can log in as an anonymous user. So we're going to paste that one in there as a test. It's going to ask me, it wants me to go here. I'm going to cancel this one and I'm going to go back here and we'll go continue on this browser. So it's working the browser with no logins. So you can see it's not got me logged in anywhere. We'll allow this. So I need to choose my settings. There I am. I'm going to call myself Maz Guest. I go join now. It's saying I've started the meeting and I'm in. So previously you would see this bit and nothing else here. So I'm now in the meeting. That's coming up on my desktop, but I'm now sitting here and I'm in the meeting. So I can view it from here. Uh, you can see on the web version, I've got the option to turn my camera off. Um, I can mute myself and unmute, my, unmute myself. I can open the share tray to be able to screen share. Um, I can raise my hand, uh, I can show the conversation. So I am in the meeting and we can show the participants so currently in this meeting. So I'm sitting in the meeting now, allowing everyone. So you, if you have admin access, I'll jump out of this meeting now because it's quite weird seeing myself sitting on the screen. But this now has me working in the web version. If I had my own desktop version, I could do it from there and sign in as myself as well. So we'll hang up that one. And I can always rejoin it. As long as that link is still there, I can jump back in as well. So in this video, I've shown you how you can reset your global Teams policy when it comes to who can get into a meeting and start and host it without you. I want you to remember that when you're doing this, this applies across all of your accounts. So this is not meeting specific settings. 
This is policy of organization wide or account wide for your account. So any meetings that you create using this policy setup will have this um, easy access set up. Now, if you want to pick and choose which meetings have that control and which ones don't, this is not the step for you. And I want to be really clear that at the time of recording, the only information I've received from Microsoft is this global policy setup. So I am still waiting for more information about how I can control that. And as soon as I have that, a video will appear on my channel as well. So if you've enjoyed this and you found it really useful, please let me know. You can pop a comment on the video. You can get in touch with me on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn. You'll find me by searching for Thrive Admin Services. If you are looking for more support, I would love to be able to help you. There's a range of ways that I can work with you from my free Facebook group, Microsoft Dynamos, all the way through to my courses and membership where I can give you more tailored one-on-one -on -one support. If you have any questions or you're interested in any of that, please get in touch um, or you can head to thriveadmin.com and find out all about what I can do to help you to thrive. Have a great day and I hope to see you back on the channel soon. Cheers.